Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now, the button below. That the meditation and tafakkur has basic concepts and principles. Be strong in your understanding of wudu, be strong in the practices of keeping your energy to be safe and secure, washing, cleaning, keeping oneself clean, wearing these taweez and having the understanding of energy. Anytime you're dealing with energy the more you build yourself up the more there's going to be negative and you're going to feel the negative. What may have been heedless before of negative energy all around you, as soon as you practice you become what's called lat latif, subtle. You start to feel what's uncomfortable, it has always been there you just didn't feel it because we were in a state of heedlessness. When Allah wants you to wake up from heedlessness, hey there's things crawling on you. So it's not insanity, it's just that you become more subtle. As soon as you become subtle you feel the en energies that are not, not correct, not right. And that's why through only energy practices people understood they cannot do it themselves. Allah didn't want us to be by ourselves, that's what shaitan wants. It takes a herd of people and break them into groups, divide and conquer and make everybody just to be divided and by themselves and then he conquers them and attacks them because his might has been here for all of this creation of Bani Adam. What Allah wants for us is to keep our fellowship, keep the fellowship of the people of reality and to keep it at all times. The understanding of the madad is to call upon that, Ya Rabbi I want to be with you, I want to be with Nabiin, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Saliheen, keep me in their presence and guide me unto understanding how to always be in their presence, asking for the madad and support and energy and energy beings, Ya Rabbi these people whom and these creations that you've given them a light and a blessing surround me by that light and blessing. So then the practice of the madad, practice of wudu, practices of energy, all of these are important. How to keep a balance in life of doing good, struggling, uh, living amongst people, struggle with the, whatever work we have, whatever things we have to do and at the same time practicing to reach our reality. The more the struggle the bigger the reward. We don't run off into the bushes to hide for Allah that we live amongst people, communities and work. And in that work and family and children we struggle, struggle to keep our connection, there lies the immense reward. The one whom can struggle, keep with their family and community and obligations and at the same time build their spiritual practices means they work hard by day and they pray all night. They do their practices at night if that's when it's more peaceful and quiet. They do their meditations, they do all the zikrs and awrad throughout the day and at night. So all of these keep us to be balanced and, and, and reaching towards Allah's satisfaction inshaAllah. Question about fear? Mm. Sayyidi what can we do if we have… In the mic because you can't type it. Sayyidi what can we do if we have fear inside of us of certain things since childhood? Again these are a general, there may be specific issues that's why you have to email. But fear in general is to build our faith, the counter to fear is faith. And what shaitan wants to put into us is fear. So now everything is fear. Everything is on television is about bringing fear into the heart of the believer. And we talked last week on that, that's the first psychological step in conquering the believer is to psychologically put a fear on him so his whole immune system and his whole system, his or her system drops, their defense mechanism drops. And all the practices that they are propagating and teaching now is to counter fear. That you counter fear by making your connection. When your connection is strong and you feel the presence of awliyaullah, you feel the presence of what Allah wants you to feel, what you have to be scared from. You're doing your zikr, you're doing all your practices, you're keeping your wudu, you're keeping 
all the requirements that Allah wants from you, then the, the, the iman and the faith becomes strong. With the yaqeen of the meditation and tafakkur and contemplation grants a yaqeen. You feel the connection, again this is countering the fear. Then specific issues of phobia of things that have happened to you, events that have occurred in life, then you email Yahya and then we'll go over how to deal with those. That's about taslim. As much as you can cut the rope, shaitan throws two ropes on you, one from behind and one in front. He has a rope on you about everything from the past and this rope holds you from levitating and moving into the Divinely Presence. And the strongest rope is in the front of what's going to be coming in your life, fearing what's coming in your life, fearing what's going to open for you in life, what's not going to open for you. All of these fears of what was in the past, regrets and things that you did wrong, it's in the past. The only thing you should understand from regret is that, I should have done more. Whatever choice you made is done, nothing you can do to change that. But when you tafakkur and contemplate, I, I wasted all the time Allah gave me, I wasted all the money Allah gave me, I wasted every opportunity that Allah gave me, yeah put it in your muhasaba and accounting, put it in your writing and say, bad boy. If Allah give me again money, I should be spending it in the way of Allah If Allah give me time, I should be spending that time in the way of Allah If Allah give me good health and long life, I should be spending it in the way of Allah There's no regret from the past, you can't go back and change the past. But with the muhasaba and writing, don't repeat it because history seems to repeat itself. And that's why Allah says that when the dead come before Him, and they have regret, Ya Rabbi please send me back, I'm going to give everything away so that I can become from Salihin. And in reality if Allah sends them back, they go back exactly to their character. And they come back again, oh Ya Rabbi one more time. And this is the nature of mankind. And says that when I put them on a boat and the storm comes and everything is upside down, oh my Lord save me, if you save me, you save me, I'll dedicate my life to you. Allah eases the storm, the boat lands and say, what you talking about? I never promised these things. I walk off the shore like nothing ever happened. You know, the storm came. How many people thought they're gonna die, the children are gonna die, they're all gonna be you know in a morgue with masks on their face. You didn't die. Now where's your commitment and your promise to Allah and His Rasul Nobody stepped forward. Then what, you're waiting for the next time? Then Allah takes you the next time. Means the Rijal and the people of faith they understood, Ya Rabbi I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it and I have no regrets. I understood from my past and what the future brings, I'm going to try to be committed into what Allah wants. Then I don't fear the future of what's going to happen, how everything going to collapse, why everything going to collapse. And these are the two ropes that shaitan throwing onto the believer to tie them down. If they can cut the past and cut the future, cut these two ropes, they live within the present. And in every moment they're in a hal because they're not thinking of the past. And they don't care about tomorrow, if Allah wants them dead by night time they're happy with that too. So every moment is a hal for them because they're not tied, they're continuously floating away. We pray that Allah open more and more understandings of these and we're coming through big difficulties. Don't think the game is over, whatever they tell you if everything is okay it's just the beginning. Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu, amanu. Those who believe, believe. This 90 days that Allah gave to everyone because He loves all His creation. You can't go around saying, this is a kafir. Allah put everybody into isolation to show how much He loves all His creation. Everybody went into isolation. Some are going to come out very demonic. And don't worry about what they call themselves. The ones who call themselves with nice names, they're probably the most evil. But the ones who come out 
and something opened of an awakening in their heart. And they think that there is a higher power and they want to dedicate their lives to that power. So means then the next test will be coming. And Ahlul Bayt and Hadith of Nabi for Qiyamah and Akhir Zaman is that the white death is coming, red death is coming, death by war is coming, death by plagues, by plagues and pandemics are coming. So means that Allah is just the beginning so that to keep our faith strong, our practices strong, our connections strong, the love for Sayyidina Muhammad very strong so that you identify as being Muhammadiyoon which those other madhab they really get angry with that term. It's an immense blessing. Before people used to say, oh those are Muhammadans. This was an honourable name, this was an honourable title that they represented the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad when they see them and their turban, their look, their face, they say, these are Muhammadiyoon and that's exactly what the angels are looking for. They're looking for who are the Muhammadans on this earth that they honour and love their king and they want to serve and live their life in service to the king, the one whom Allah has made the most praise throughout His heavens. We pray that Allah open more and more understanding. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun ala mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.